Hello, my friends. I'm here to introduce my new master class. It's going to be called um, Jack Sweater, Knitting a Baby Sweater Inside Out. I want to give you a little bit of a background, how come I uh, came up with this idea. So I have a co-worker where I work. I work in a lab and she uh, just had a baby boy. So for this baby boy, his name is Jack, I decided to knit a sweater that she has looked online. I went online, I bought this pattern, and unfortunately the pattern was not correct. When I got, it was a yoke pattern knit from the top down, and when I got to the yoke, uh, I noticed that the pattern was not working, the numbers were not working, and to make a long story short, I had to adapt the sweater and come up with the whole idea on my own. After I finished the sweater, I gave it. The baby is now six months old. You're going to see a picture of him with the sweater. Um, I decided to publish a class, which is this class, in teaching you how to knit a baby sweater and the way I do because I work the entire sweater from the non-public side. Why would I do that? You know, what's the reason of doing the entire circular project inside out? I reinforce, I said this many times, I like to do the pro stitch better than the knit stitch. The second thing is that my sweater includes uh, skills for stranding, stranded knitting. So for this multicolor use of yarns, uh, I prefer to do on the non-public side. Your strands or your floats are going to be bigger than the diameter of the circular project and they are going to guarantee for you a great tension. So that's the second reason. The third reason I chose the baby sweater, I said this is a great class because a baby sweater is a small or a miniature way to show you how to, I do this. And I had a request in the past from you asking why do you work inside out, how do you work inside out, how do you increase and decrease. So those are the skills you're going to learn today. You are going to learn to do the Portuguese cast on. I also have a video for free available. You're going to learn the ribbing one by one. You're going to learn how to increase using the Portuguese style from the non-public side you're going to work the stranded knitting from inside out and I work with the three or four colors but only two colors per round. You are going to um, learn how to divide the circular project into sleeves and body you know so you're going to make of course uh, the, the, the body of the sweater. I'm going to teach you how to separate and work sleeves and body I am going to teach you how to pick up stitches from the non-public side in the underarm gusset from the non-public side. When you work on the sleeves, I'm going to teach you all the decreases that you're going to make your sleeve taper in for the baby sweater. And I'm going to teach you how to bind off. So all the skills are very good for you to use in any circular project that you desire. It doesn't have to be a baby sweater. It could be a sock, it could be a hat, it could be a mitten, it could be, you know, the skills are useful in any other project, circular project, and you can work inside out. Just purling. The purling in knitting uh, Portuguese style is way easier and way better, okay? So that's the reason I decided to, to do this uh, class for you. I'm going to show you here uh, the sweater and the pattern that I use as a frame. I was telling you the pattern I bought was completely messed up. So I found a free pattern online and it's called the Strange Brew by Thin Can Knits. And what I use from them is the frame, is the math to give you three baby sweaters or three different sizes for you to choose from. So I didn't do all the math. I uh, actually talked to Emily. She owns the Tin Can Knits and I'm using with permission, so I'm giving them the credit for that. But out of this math of all the numbers, how many stitches to cast on, how many stitches to separate for the sleeve, how much you have to increase, 
all this frame I use from this pattern, okay? And I create my own, and I decided to call Jack's Baby Sweater. So I hope you enjoy knitting with me, and let me show you now what the sweater looks like, okay? Here you have the, the baby sweater. Uh, again, we're going to work the sweater from the top down. I'm going to teach you the Portuguese cast on the ribbing, one by one or two by two. You are going to do a plain round and change to a bigger needle at this point. And we're going to uh, introduce a second collar. So we're going to start using stranded knitting, like I said, or the, the for some knitters they know as a fair eye knitting. And we're going to work this yoke. From here to the arm, you are going to work four rounds of increase. And I'm going to teach you three different increases and you're going to pick from those which one you like the most and use for the increases on plain rounds, not to color knitting, but plain rounds. We're going to talk about that, don't worry. Then uh, once you have the desired length from the neck to the underarm that your size pertains or to your child in this example, we're going to separate the sleeves on uh, a piece of waist yarn and we're going to knit the body down straight, no decreases here. We're going to change back to smaller needles and finish the, the bottom of the sweater. The same with the sleeves, but when you knit the sleeves, you are going to taper them in and you are going to do some decreases. And you can see here some decreases I worked all the way to the cuff and, and then we're going to bind off, okay? I am also going to um, show you how to weave the ends. I am going to show you, do this in both on a plain collar or on the fair eye motif. And I also want to show you this sweater inside out because that's how we're going to see it. This is my stranded knitting from the non-public side. You see that my tension looks pretty good. The sweater is not puckered on the public side. And, you know, the floats, again, are bigger than the diameter of your yoke. In this case, could be a hat, could be anything. The floats, what I call those pieces of yarn that float here, uh, they are bigger of the, of the, compared to the circumference of your yoke or hat or anything. So that assures, uh, guarantees you this tension that looks really nice when you're done. Of course, you're going to block your sweater, everything is gonna fall in place, and you're going to have a pretty project at the end. So here it is, I have uh, the skills. The materials you're going to use uh, are up to you, uh, depending on the gauge and depending on the product, the project you're going to knit. I have used a DK yarn, a baby yarn that is super wash, and the gauge is 22 stitches by 30 rows. You pick your yarns, you pick your needles, and we're going to get started, okay? Download the project, actually, from the, the handout I have it for you. I have, again, three sizes for you to choose from. Download that. Um, Make a copy if you want. My charts are in color. We're going to talk about that. Make a copy in black and white. And let's start knitting this project together. So there we go.